Software engineering and data science are both amazing career paths in tech. So if you've just graduated and you're trying to decide between these two, in this video I'll be talking about the three major differences between software engineering and data science in practice. So keep watching and subscribe to this channel for more videos for new graduates. Hi, I'm Yulia Eskin, a Silicon Valley tech lead and a career coach for software engineers. This is the right channel for you if you're a software engineer who wants to get promoted, become a tech lead, or just be a better engineer. So you just graduated from a computer science degree, an engineering degree, a math degree, or something similar. And in front of you, you have several choices on the career paths to take. Software engineering or data science, which are both very lucrative career paths. So how do you choose? Well, I've gone through this decision making myself and I actually talk about it in this video above and why I ended up choosing software engineering over data science. But today I want to talk about the three major differences between data science roles and software engineering roles in practice. I worked for eight years as a software engineer and a tech lead alongside data scientists, so I want to share with you the three major differences that I've noticed. So keep watching. So consider these three different dimensions between software engineering and data science, salary and career growth potential, the type of work you do and its impact, and work-life balance. So let's talk about the first dimension, salary and career growth potential. To discover the salary for a certain role that you're interested in, in a specific city, just go to Glassdoor and plug in the city and the role. In this case, I'm comparing data science salaries in San Francisco to software engineering salaries in San Francisco. So as you can see here in 2021, the average base salary for a data scientist is about 143K a year versus for a software engineer, it's about 133K a year. So we're talking about a $10,000 difference in base salary. However, if you notice the range of the salaries is very similar, but I wanna bring your attention to a really important nuance. Take a look at how many data points Glassdoor has on salaries for data scientists versus salaries for software engineers. It has about two and a half thousand salaries for data scientists and about 35,000 salaries for software engineers. This actually brings me to a really important point. There are a lot more jobs for software engineers than there are for data scientists. Let me explain. A medium-sized tech company would often have one at most two data science teams and about 10 to 15 engineering teams. And the reason for that is because engineering teams are often divided to product teams, infrastructure teams, and SRE teams. So there's already a lot more variety in software engineering and that is one of the reasons that you will just see a lot more demand for software engineers than there are for data scientists. So this is really important when you're deciding which path to choose because there will just always be a lot more demand for software engineers than there will be for data scientists. However, on average, data scientists will get paid a little bit more just because it's a more specialized role that is a little bit harder to hire for. Now, in terms of career paths, as I already alluded to it, software engineers just have a lot more different career paths to choose from within software engineering. There's front-end engineering, there's back-end engineering, there's systems, there's infrastructure, there's SRE, and so much more. And for that reason, software engineers just have a lot more options when it comes to switching within software engineering if they get bored or if they just wanna try something else. Also, software engineers usually have a much bigger career ladder, and I actually talk all about career ladders in this video, Above. However, at the moment, data scientists have a much smaller career ladder with about three to four roles, and there's really only one type of role within data science, which is data scientist. There can definitely be maybe subdivisions based on the specific type of work that you do. So maybe there will be a data scientist machine learning role or a data scientist natural language processing role, but it really depends on the product your company is working on and whether they have a need for having multiple types of specializations within data science. Another important factor here is that software engineers can either grow on a vertical career ladder from junior to principal software engineer, or they can basically take a path towards leadership, first going into tech leadership roles and then engineering management, director and above. This doesn't really exist right now for data scientists, so it just limits your growth if you go to data science. And if you're just starting out in tech, then check out below on how I can support you as a career coach as you navigate the first six months of your career in tech. So let's get into the second major difference which is the type of work that you do and the impact it has. So here's the major difference. Software engineering is about building software and building products versus data science is about analyzing data 
and coming up with algorithms. As an engineer, you'll be directly involved in building products. So you will have a lot of decision-making power, both on the technical implementation and product decisions. The code that you will be writing will definitely be used by customers. Of course, it depends on your preferences, but as a data scientist, you will be working more behind the scenes. Often data scientists work to support a product engineering team by coming up with algorithms or analyzing data, but they're not writing production level code. They're doing more prototyping. So one part of data science is looking for insights and in data. So if you have customer data, let's say healthcare data, you wanna understand why are people, for example, buying certain drugs? Is it correlated to some diagnosis they have? As a data scientist, you will just be given a lot of data and you will be asked to understand those correlations and those patterns in the data and then report these insights usually to product managers who use that to make decisions on which products to build. Another kind of work that you'll probably be doing is algorithmic work. So let's say your company is trying to come up with some facial recognition software. So there will definitely be a data science team with people who know a lot about facial recognition who will be basically taking what's already known in academic research and implementing these algorithms in Python to prototype some kind of approach and fine tune it. Then that algorithm is probably going to be given to a product engineering team that will need to include that into the software they're building. That algorithm will often be just a small part of the eventual product because there's so much more that engineers need to build. However, one really important nuance is that the code that data scientists write never makes it directly into production level code. So engineers will often re-implement the algorithms that data scientists wrote and they will often need to make changes because once you start to build the product, there are more requirements, there's usually certain constraints or simplifying assumptions. So it's very likely that as a data scientist that what you come up with will not be used exactly exactly in the final product. So basically the tools and the skill set is also different between the two. In engineering, you'll often have to build a full stack solution. So from the database to the back end to the front end, and you'll need to have some understanding in all of these three disciplines. You'll also be responsible for shipping the code, testing the code, coming up with scalable and solid architecture that will go into production. Versus in data science, you'll be focusing a lot more on machine learning, on statistics, and basically data mining techniques. And you will be coming up with the approach that will become a small component of the final product that the customer will see. So make up your own mind about the impact of the work that you want to be doing and how much behind the scenes or front of the line you want to be because these two career options give you very different flavors of the two. And the last factor I wanna talk about is work-life balance. So since data scientists often work on long-term projects, their work is not very tied to customer deadlines. They don't need to show up if there's a production issue. So most of the time their work is more of a supportive role. So that just means that their work-life balance as well as stress level is much better than it is for engineers. Now, software engineers are responsible for product development and that is always tied to some external deadlines that are set by the company, by the product managers, or by other stakeholders. Software engineers design the architecture, implement the code, they're responsible for testing, for releases, but also for on-call or production duties, which means that when production bugs happen, they're the first people that need to show up and fix the problems. And that can be quite stressful because it usually means that something is not working and there's a customer impact. So they need to be ready to be on call whenever that happens. Overall, software engineers also have have a good work-life balance, but they're just a lot more tied to the customer and to production. And that just means that their stress level is higher on average. So I hope that this video shed some light on practical differences between these two career paths. Have you made up your mind? Do you know which one you would like to pursue? Leave me a comment and let me know. And check out my website below on how I can support you as a career coach as you start your career in tech or as you grow as a software engineer or a data scientist. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and see you in the next video.